This is Patrick Waddell from America's Choice Inspections. Um, what we're taking a look at today is a ribbon burner unit. Um, this is an older house from back in the 50s. Generally when we find these units they've already been replaced at this point. Some of the problems that we have before it even starts up is the flame rollout that's occurring or has occurred in the past. Um, that's the very first indication uh, to inspect and look for before you even open one up. Inside the unit you've got a lot of rust build up. Uh, on the bottom. I can tell from the color of the burner here, this piece, that it's been replaced in the past, but you can still see the discoloration from issues with the way the flame pattern is rolling. This is a flame protector that sits up in here to prevent it from rolling out. I don't normally remove them, but I'm just doing this for purposes of training. So I got someone else inside the house that's getting ready to turn it on. The burner here, when it fires up, the flames will come up through the unit um, off of the ribbon. And those are what are called soldiers. Um, we're going to pay close attention to make sure the soldiers are standing tall. A lot of times they'll be a varying pattern within those ribbons. So the actual ribbon is you see the darkest of the blue before it turns red. That is your soldier. And that is what we're paying attention to. And you're gonna have to kind of look across the board. You see you get kind of up high and you can see all the soldiers standing all the way across the unit. There goes the house fan. The house fan is gonna make any cracks in the heat exchanger really stand out because they'll start dancing. These soldiers actually, very surprisingly, look extremely well. You can see on this right end, this is where they're rolling out. You see how they're small, and then as you get over this end, they're starting to get very tall. A lot of times, that's an indication of an issue uh, with the burner uh, that needs to be adjusted because they all should be exactly the same height on this right end, which is where the flame rollout was. They're all very high. These are just items you want to look for um, on a inspection when you're doing a ribbon burner. It's much different than doing a, a standard uh, setup with a jet type burner.